Okay, I'll show you what wild ginseng looks like. If you look around, of course everything looks the same. Uh, it's getting close to harvest time. Berries are gone. And here's a, I do believe a two-pronger and a three. They got a um, two-pronger, basically has two stems coming up. And then a set of five leaves on each. Of course, three-pronger. Maybe I can pull this weed out of the way. Or other plant. That's a three-pronger. You know, he's got the two, two little leaves, and then three bigger ones. Um, there's a lot of plants that resemble it. They don't have a woody stem or nothing. And I'd say they're about, the full ones only, mature ones probably a foot tall. Two prongers, too small a dig. It's going to be a little root. Um, three pronger you can dig. Uh, here we have a couple more. This one here is kind of laying over, laying down. I pulled some leaves away. Kind of hard to tell. I mean, one, the uh, little leaves are gone, but it's definitely, uh, ginseng. There's a two-pronger next to it. There's another little one there. You can see how it's been trampled. Actually, there's two of them here dying back. Here's another nice three-pronger. Um, and here's some, looks to me like a three, maybe four-pronger, three-pronger there. This one still has its berries on. And that's what the berries look like. A couple. We got two seeds in each berry. Now well, it looks here like we got uh, three plants all grouped together. Three pronger. You know, somehow. Another three or. And then another three -er. So, a few bucks there. So here's another one, three pronger. Two berries on it. And another three pronger. Not a real big stalk on it though. Generally, you look on a north slope where it's cooler. You don't really find many on a southern slope. Um, that'd be the north slope facing away from the sun. Um, kind of flat in this area. And then, usually, you find something like this. You head uphill, and through the years, the mother load would be up towards the top, and of course, seeds roll down the hill, um, so this would be about as far as they would go. Um, the last ones I showed were basically up the hill. Um, here's a, another three-pronger and a little two-pronger. Then we got a, another little two-pronger there. This is another three-pronger. 
and we got one there. Um, one berry left. Nice seed pod on it. Uh, sometimes the roots go quite deep. This here is what the ginseng is going to look like close to when it dies back for the year. Um, you'll see a bright yellow plant. Um, of course this one's been eaten by bugs, but um, I've had this at my house. So what I'm going to do is dig the root, show you what they look like. Here's that dug root. I guess you could consider this what wild would look like. It's been in the ground forever. Um, I planted it from a seed, I'd say 10, 12 years ago. Um, you see some up at the top, that's the buds. Every year it will create another one. Um, they don't grow every year or they don't pop out of the ground every year in a while. 